I still have no video from you, FYI. Oh, son of a bitch, really? If, um, I mean, can you, is your uh, streaming app picking it up? It is. Because, if, I mean, if you're, as long as you're broadcasting it and I can't see you, that's not the worst thing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 89? Is it 89? Nope. 80, 89 for the 5th of August, 2016. Yeah, that's how prepared I am today. I'm Amos and that guy right there, that's Kent. How you doing, man? Oh man, I'm good. I'm good. It's it's Friday. It's RMP. Let's do this, man. Yeah, so... um. So, uh, so I, I got to start it out on the on a right track. I am holding a jug of beer purchased from my local uh, local shopette. It's a microbrew, local microbrew, and they give it to you. You buy the jug for for nine ninety nine, and then you can come in and get. It's a sixty four ounce jug. You get refills for ten bucks. Ah, growlers. And it's, it, yeah, and it's always a uh, it's always a uh, a local brew from the local area because apparently there's a ton of fucking microbrews around here. So I picked awesome. up I picked up El Amber. Um, I have not tried it yet. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my big ass mug right here, and uh, try this out. It, it looks delicious. It looks like a delicious amber. It's got some nice head. It smells almost fruity. You know, I I feel like we're going to have this exact same conversation on the, under a different topic later in the show. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. More to come on. Oh, anyway, I see what you did. <laughs> so it smells fruity. Amos is taking a big old swig now. <sighs> um, well, I gotta, I gotta give it a little bit of props. I had to take three drinks of head before I even got to the beer. <laughs> um, so that, that that works out really good. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mild amber. Right on. Yeah. Dude, that is like way awesome. You said that's at the shop head on base. Yeah. That is, oh my uh, God. There's not any place anywhere near here that does growlers. Yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. Oh, really? Oh yeah. Growlers are, are big in certain places. If you go to Seattle or, um, Austin, I'm sure is a big growler city man that is really good awesome well, i'm so kind of jealous but i i do have i do have a beer of my own to try yeah what is that <clears throat> this is a a bone chiller brown ale from sierra blanca which is a new mexico brewery i actually i was bought a case of this you know how on the flight line like if if you screw something up real bad you kind of you you're kind of obligated to buy beer for somebody Mm -hmm. Either the person who covered for you or the person who you screwed over. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, something something happened at work this week that um, was really aggravating to me. Uh, somebody somebody kind of messed up, but it was it caused a lot of um, unnecessary. Uh, we'll call it ass pain for me. Mm -hmm. And the person responsible uh, came up and was like, "Hey, man, you know what do you what do you drink?" <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, beer, I, you know, pale ale is my, is my go-to. Why? What's up? He's like, he's like, say no more. And he, he ran to the shop at and came back and brought me a, a case of beer. He's like, well, all I found was something with the word ale in the name. So, uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll like, work. Oh, and you didn't have to do that. But, but anyway, so he, he bought me some somewhat local brew and, um, I've never had it before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try it right here on air. Right, very good. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't bring a glass. So and, and regardless of of what I think of it out of the bottle, I'm going to do a rate, an actual like in glass rate later. I don't know about later tonight, but it's probably later this week, <laughs> and I will put it on RateBeer.com. So nice, uh, beer people, pay pay attention for that one. Hmm. Okay. Um, it's incredibly malty, like you would expect from a brown ale. Mm -hmm. it, it's got some of that, um, like, basement 
<laughs> kind of like dankness to it that a, a lot of people sometimes describe as dirt. Uh, um, it's not all bad. I mean, there's some some notes in it of chocolate. Because like I said, it's malty, so it's got that sweetness in it. Uh, but it does have that kind of like um, earthiness nice. to it. You know, what people call dirt. Um, I don't know. It's fine. Kind of reminds me of a, of a Tootsie Roll, honestly. Let me try that again to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, the, yeah, the, the drink Tootsie, Tootsie Roll or the candy Tootsie Roll? The candy. The candy. Okay. Because <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference between them. Uh, uh, the, yeah, the drink doesn't bit. taste as much like the candy as we, as we would hope. <laughs> so, <clears throat> especially not coming back up. Um, so how was your week, man? Other than uh, other than the beer that you, you acquired, how was your week? Oh, man. You know, busy, busy. But, you know, normally, you know, I, I, I get up around 7, get to work around 8. You know, it's a, you know, fairly, it's a, it's a pretty regular routine for me. I get up, I've got a... You know, certain things that I do, I, I get up, I let the dogs out, uh, bring the dogs back in and I feed them breakfast. And then, I, you know, go start about or start going about my business of, of getting ready for work, things mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that all goes to shit when you wake up late. <laughs> uh, that happened to be today. I uh, woke up a little later than than what I should have. And so, you know, you know, when you're running late for something, you're not functioning on all cylinders, right. you're kind of like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, and you're trying to take shortcuts. Yeah, that was me this morning. So I let the dogs out, and then I ran back into the house, and I poured the dogs' food in the bowl, and then I went back to get the dogs, and I was yelling at them, like, get in the house, get in the house. Well, I didn't realize that River, my girl dog, was mid-shit at the time. So in her efforts to please the master... <laughs> She like she tried to cut that off and run into the house to obey me. <laughs> so she she gets inside the house and immediately wants to start the the whole butt rub carpet well, thing. Yeah, yeah. She's got a half a turd hanging out of her ass. I'm like, oh god damn it, fuck river outside. <laughs> Simon the boy dog is like, oh. He wants us to go outside, so he starts to run. I'm like, no, Simon, no, inside. And then River's like, oh, he wants us to be inside. So she, so, like, so you need to learn how to communicate. Like you are not, you're not effectively communicating with out, your dog. Whichever dog I want to yell at, call out the other one's name, because that seems to be how they respond. And oh my god, it was so aggravating. And then I had to like try to wipe up some poop stains on the carpet. And the whole time I'm running late. And this all happened because I was trying to save time and end up taking more time. And oh my god, that was that's how my day started. You know, you're a civilian now, right? You can just be like, "Hey, I'm calling in sick. I'll be in about it's, an hour late." Well, yeah, I had a, I had an eight thirty briefing to give this morning, so it's kind of a kind of had to be there. Yeah, yeah that's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's, anyway, that's yeah. awesome though. That uh, nothing appreciates uh, nothing appreciates you like a dog. <laughs> yeah, especially, especially when mid loaf, a mid loaf dog. That, turd that's, off mid turd. Yeah, that, that's that's your uh, that's your forte right there, mid loaf dogs. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh man, How, did you have a better morning than me? Um, so my mornings have been pretty good. I've actually been driving into work with my wife. She was uh, she's been picked up to be put on orders, so she's been working full time right along with me. Um, totally oh, different. Cool. To- Your wife's in the reserves. Yes, the Air Force Reserves. So she's uh, she's actually gonna she's gonna be picking up uh, in someone else's place who's about to deploy. So she's she'll be in full time orders through like March, um, and that's just all extra income coming towards this to help us pay off some bills and, and get set up here in Alaska. So that's gonna that's gonna be awesome. Um, cool. And then after that, hopefully hopefully school will be ready. She's currently applied to nursing school here in, in uh, Alaska, and it's a long wait. So. She's trying to she's trying to find a way to bide her time, and you know make a little money and, and we, so we can get up a you know build, rebuild our savings after buying the house stuff like that without being long term committed. So that when school calls and says, "Hey, you're next up on the list for nursing school," she can go, "I'm there," and not have to worry about anything. So it's like this delicate game. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of good jobs out here, but they're long term commitments. She's got a GS11 job that she applied for that is right up her alley and everything else. But if she accepts the job, if they if they offer it to her and then she accepts it, that's like a at least a two year commitment. Well, that runs right into her school time frame. 
Mm. So, you know, you, you start having to balance those things out and it's, <laughs> so, so if anybody that's met us in, in person knows my wife is black and she is suffering through so many white people problems right now. Like she is over employable, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Like it's, 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 it's not right. It's not right. Um, so me personally though, I have been trying to get my studio finished setting up. Mm-hmm. And I got, I, I redid a lot of the stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pan around the studio real quick with uh, what, what, what little bit this camera will give me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so here's what I call the beast. Um, it's the the computer that I built in Korea, and uh, it's 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 really awesome. It kicks ass. Um, I haven't gotten uh, haven't had a chance to try to get uh, try to get the Hackintosh part going again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but mm-hmm. that's going to be the actual studio where I would normally sit. Uh, however, I couldn't get the streaming software to comply with my wishes today. Oh. So when you texted me before the show and I said I was busy, I was actually busy converting everything back over to the Mac to run it on the, the tried and true software because I didn't have time to finish testing the Windows software. And holy shit, what a what a busy, busy fucking day. Yeah. yeah. Um however you will see behind me I do have my Dragonless collection and several of my other books lined up in there. A little clean enough left to do on the bookshelf, but that's gonna be pretty awesome. Right, and, a little bit of nerd cred over there in the uh, corner. Yeah, it's, it's not even nerd cred; it's just me. Like, what's up? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got a, I got a pile of D and D books over there in the corner that need to get put up. I got my my iPhone poster that needs to go up. Yeah, my iPhone poster. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty geeky. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, nineteen hours is for an iPhone six S, so it, it worked. Um, oh, right. Which I don't have anymore. Right? Weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I got my, well spent <laughs> yeah now, now i've got my 6s plus um and uh yeah it's it's just been one of those weeks man crunching away trying to get the software to work trying to like if if i could just i had to decide whether i wanted to continue with the hackintosh and finish building that part of it or and then of course once i got that working if, if i got the uh the video and the ram both working at the same time which was the problem that i was having before mm. if i got that working then I would be able to easily port everything over and done, you know, if I couldn't get it working, then I'd be ass out sitting right where I am. However, I had a working windows computer. So I could try to port everything from the Mac to the windows. If it failed, then I'd be right where I'm at, which is actually the route that I took and it's the result I got. So, <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Good God. Um, yeah. And I'm finding that, uh, as, um, I, I was telling you the other day when I fired up, so I was sitting at, at what, like one core, it's a four core processor. One core was active at running at about half speed. And then I turned on Skype and did my initial test run with Skype. And all of a sudden I was running two cores almost to max. Yeah. Why is Skype sucking up that much, th- that much did, resource? Did you run it through Chrome by chance? No. <laughs> like I was, I oh, I ran, ran the native app, the Windows native app, from a company that's been owned by Win, by Microsoft for years. The shit should yeah. just work, you know. No, not so much. Still resource hog, and then uh, of course try to get my streaming software going, and that was where I ran into the problems tonight because I couldn't get Skype to pump into the the video capture. And that that was like I had everything going. I ran into that roadblock, and the only thing I left I had after that was the audio piece, and that should have been easy as hell on Windows, but I didn't get a chance to try it because of the Skype thing. So damn, yeah. Once so, I failed on that, I was just done. So faithful audience, if you want to make any comments about that, use <laughs> hashtag still in beta. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag still in beta. That's how it is. Yeah. Hey, um, so dude, there's been a, uh, there, there's a few things this week that, that we've glossed over a few things the last couple of weeks. We just haven't mentioned them and I want to make sure that we pound one thing completely home. And okay. if I, if I, if I had my system set up, <laughs> I'd be able to share this a little bit better. Last week or was it the week before Nintendo came out with a small NES system looking device that's going to have 30 games on it. From yeah. the original Nintendo Entertainment System, games like the Mario 1, 2, and 3, Zelda 1 and 2, 
Um, Excite Bike. Classic NES game. Yeah. The, all, like, seriously, major classic NES games. 30 of them are going to come on the device. It's going to be sold for like 60 bucks, I think it, the price was, um, with a with a, a native controller, like the, you know, well, not a, not an original controller, but at least a controller designed to feel and act as, just like the original controller. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're going to sell additional con- controllers for, for 10 bucks, which you only, you're only going to buy one because there are only two ports on the damn thing. And um, I thought that was amazing. I don't know why we didn't mention on the show. Holy shit. Maybe because everybody else mentioned it. So we were already like, ah, oh, shit. Everybody has already heard about that. Yeah. This I heard week. About all the shows. Yeah. This week, they came, uh, uh, Internet Archive, archive.org, came out and said they have the first 13 years of Nintendo Power Magazine available freely and openly for everyone to go look at, read, and just enjoy. Holy yeah, yeah. shit, man. Such a huge piece of my childhood slapped up on the internet. I can't wait to go back and revisit it. I'm going to actually probably do that tonight after everybody else passes out. I'm just going to sit there and, and flip through it. And I'm, I'm probably going to download all the PDFs and put them on my iPad so that I can just read them on the shitter. Because, yeah, no doubt. holy crap, man, that's amazing. Dude. Oh man, I was I was actually looking at at archive.org at some of the the covers and dude, I've got probably probably close to 3 quarters of those. Well, I did. I don't I don't know if they're still in my possession anywhere. <laughs> but I, my subscription probably covered about 3 quarters of that time span and holy shit, man. Memory lane. Mhm. Now, I wonder though, I didn't notice this and I'm wondering if they're going to do this. The uh, do you remember that once a quarter you would get a player's guide, like the Legend mm. of Zelda: yep. Link to the Past. Yeah, basically the it, the it, you know. It uh, wasn't it the, wasn't the uh, it wasn't any new game. It was a game that had been out for a little bit, but it was like the yeah. complete breakdown of Mega Man Four or right, whatever. Right, exactly. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if the, are they going to do that as well? Because that would be, in be there? awesome. Yeah. Well, if you remember the first, um, maybe the first five or six years. They didn't do like special editions and stuff like that because they actually did full breakdowns of the game, like the it, month the it came edition. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they was like, "Hey, guess what? This game's coming out this month, and here's the first ten levels." You know, right. yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was just it was amazing, and I can't wait to go go back through. I was a su- subscriber for the first five years straight. Mm. Um, do you still have them? No. I know, I know, I know. I, I, like so much because we moved around so much and so many boxes got shifted and, and quote unquote lost, you know, like my entire Lego collection, they just got lost. Like no one knows what the hell that shit is. Um, right. Yeah. I was, gosh, man. So good. Damn. So Devo in the chat said that Nintendo thought he was a girl because of his name and he got mail for products so interesting some some cross promotional advertisement type stuff going on there Mm -hmm. and that's that sucks yeah um Uh, beef says and that's when you learn tampons don't go in anuses um lessons learned yeah you you know everybody learns at their own pace with their own experiences and (laughs) Uh, I'm not going to say that I haven't learned that lesson yet, but I don't think it's really available for me anymore. I think uh, somewhere along the lines, I just kind of naturally learned that one. Yeah, you just like... Or, yeah, or, just, anyway. or it just never made the jump. I just never made the connection <laughs> until now. I was trying to say, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, it, dude, all right. I got to tell you about something that happened earlier this week. Okay. So, you, you know, at work, we have the like inter-office communicator thing. Um, speaking of Skype, I think it's a Skype product now that, that it Microsoft. Is. It used to be Microsoft Link, and they changed the name to Skype for business. And yes, it's right. A, it, 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 in all fairness, it's actually better now than it ever has been before. Um, the newest revision that came out, you got little tabs instead of having a separate window for everybody. Or yes. you can or you can open up, up in their own window. It's great. Skype for business as an office, as an inter-office communicator is awesome. 
Love it. Yeah. Oh, no, especially it's really, it, really good. Yeah, especially as it, as it correlates with Outlook, which we use in the Air Force as our standard email and everything else. Yeah. I'm not that big of a fan of Office anymore. I think there's some other great products out there. But the way that it integrates, I'm a huge fan of integration. And oh. uh, that's why I love Adobe products. Not because there's anything wrong with, with uh, the Mac products and stuff like that. It's just that Adobe it synchronizes so well with each other and interoperates so well that uh, it, it wins me over. But yeah, so that's that's awesome. Um, now, you and I talk on, on this Office Communicator, the Skype for business all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, have you ever gotten a, a message out of nowhere? Like the, somebody that you don't know or did you know you never contacted first just a you know hey blah 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 like like hey who left the cheese open well sure could okay. be i guess that would apply all right well all right. i i got i got a message out of nowhere all right. and, uh like what the hell okay so somebody from a, a personnel office that was trying to help with a form that I'd filled out, um, the kind of an employment type thing okay. that I filled out months ago, months and months and months ago. The guy just contacts me out of nowhere and is like, hey, um, this form, like I'm going to help you fill it out correctly this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who, who the hell are you? Now, uh, now was, it, was this a form that you that you knew about? Like, is this like a normal form that, that I would know about being in the military as myself or... or? No, no, no. It's a, well, it's a civilian form. It's um. Oh, okay. So obviously, I wouldn't know anything about it because I am completely retarded when it comes to all things civilian. My my words, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. That's not as, an as my though. as my wife has been going through this whole job search thing, and she's explaining <laughs> to me all the steps for the civilian employment and everything else. I'm just like, this is dumb. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It's but, a whole but, other system. Because you, you know how we, my, we my talked last, a few episodes back about how the Air Force system is just kind of a game and you just got to learn the game. Yeah. Yeah, the civilian system is a brand new game that yeah. you have to learn. I, uh, I I can't say anything. My only civilian job worth a damn was detasseling. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not even like real. It's, a real. it's real work, but it's not a real job. Right, <laughs> exactly. It's seasonal work. It's 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 definitely not sitting in an office in air conditioning, wondering what you're going to do in ten minutes. It's it's. I mean, it's it's not backbreaking work, but it's it's labor. Um, oh, but I wouldn't yeah. call it a job. It's no, it's <laughs> like like it was specifically designed for high school students to have something to do to make some money to earn to to buy cool clothes for the next year. It's borderline slave labor, is what that is. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far, but, but well, yeah, you make you're... less than minimum wage, and <laughs> yeah, it's dirty ass, hard ass labor in the hot sun in the summer that work that no one else wants to do. I mean, borderline slave labor. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was not fun. You know, speaking of that, and being the Gen Con in Indianapolis is going on right now, and Margaret Weiss is there. The first yep, thing so is I, yeah. The the first thing I ever bought with my first paycheck from Asgro, my first taxable paycheck, the first thing I ever bought was Dragons of Autumn Twilight, Dragons of Winter Night, and Dragons of Spring Dawning. The tr triple set from the Oxford Public Library had them, the covers laminated. And you know where those books are right now? Oh, God. Do I want to know? Yeah. It's, it's pretty interesting. Oh, are they on your shelf right there? You would think, but no, they're actually in... My son's room, as he is currently reading through them. That's even better. And the twins are currently reading the two different, the one hard copy and the soft copy of the Chronicles anthology that I have. All three of the kids in this house of reading age are currently reading Dragons of Autumn Twilight. Just saying, that, couldn't be fucking prouder. Dude, you you need to have like a like a uh, book club with meetings, <laughs> weekly meetings. With yeah. them to discuss. Yeah. Well, I, I thought about that, and I was like, "Well, that'd be that'd be cool to put on a podcast." And I was like, "Hey, wasn't there already a Dragonlands podcast I didn't come through with?" <laughs> I think you recorded one episode. Yeah, the, then... the the intro episode, and, uh, and I, I might still have that recording. I don't know, but yeah. So, um, Sassian, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. Um, maybe they will get back to that, right? Hmm. Or I say we. I mean, uh, by we, I mean you. <laughs> yeah. By me, I mean the royal we, and by the royal we, I mean you. 
Um, <laughs> That's precisely what that means. Uh, so, so back to your message, man. This message you, did you just got that just popped up out of the blue. What's up? Yeah. So he's like, you know, hey, he's man, trying to help you with the form. Yeah. What's that? He's trying to help you with the form. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, okay, weird that you're contacting me, but okay, fine. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll oblige. Like, yeah. Here's my info. Well, then he he was like, he starts asking me these questions that are, I, I know the answers are in the system. Like, my entire career is in their computer. Mm-hmm. And so I, I sent him a message. I was like, you know, like, man, wh- why do I even have to fill this form out? All of the, the questions that you're asking me right now, all of that info is in the system that I presume that you have access to. <laughs> well, right at that He wasn't time, asking you, like, personal information or anything, was he? No, 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 it wasn't no, no, like no, you know what's your mother's maiden name and you know uh, hey you didn't fill this form right what's your birthday like <laughs> no 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 no, 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 no. there's nothing like that there's nothing like that it, it was it was talking about specific like um, medals earned and and stuff like that it was okay not, okay all right it's definitely something you would expect from AFPC uh, so anyway right when I asked that question like dude why you know why are you hassling me when you got the info right. Uh-huh. Something came up that took me away from the computer. So I had to like lock the computer and go handle some shit. So I come back like a half hour later. Well, in the meantime, he answered my question and was like, uh, yeah, I don't have access to that because I only do civilian stuff. But anyway, um, I never contacted you. Just some advice. Have a good day. And he was logged out. So, so what you're saying is Edward Snowden is hacking into shit and contacting people directly through, uh, through Skype for business on the military network, letting them know that they're missing the medals that they're supposed to have. Man, yeah. <laughs> See, I like I know, knew he I need, would be bored in the, Russia, but come you, on. I'm sorry, we were talking over each other. What was that? I, I said I know he'd be bored in Russia, but come on, <laughs> dude. I need to go over. The messages line by line, there might be some code in there because some of the things that he said just were kind of off the wall. So I'm thinking I might have like received some kind of code, like maybe, I don't know, cry for help or uh, you're, you're, uh, a duress, duress code. A what? A duress code. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Maybe maybe he needs rescued from Russia. I You know, like he's just up there chilling, uh, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, and maybe maybe he's in trouble now. Oh, maybe he contacted you because he knows that I just moved to moved to uh, to Alaska, and I'm the closest one. You know what I mean? Like he's <laughs> so, it's, so what what happens is I need to read your messages so that I might be able to trigger like you know the Chuck effect in my head and ha- have all that knowledge rush back into my brain, so I can Ooh. go to Russia and extract him or some shit, right? See that that's an interesting possibility yeah. because you know how he he co- uncovered the the government surveillance bull. Maybe it wasn't a one way thing. Maybe the government was also putting things out there. Oh, look, look, information. I, I think I think it's all good as long as Yvonne Strahovski is around. I mean, that's really all it takes. I'm sorry, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? What? You don't know who Yvonne Strahovski is? No. Oh. So, uh, why aren't you Googling that right now? <laughs> because uh, I'm just, tripping over the name. Just, and just, <laughs> just look up Chuck on IMDb. Look at oh, the lead oh, actress. This is, a, this is a Chuck reference. Yes. Mm-hmm. See? Okay. I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I am now, punching, right. I'm now, punching right. holes in your geek card right now. now. Run the page. Continue. <laughs> I didn't last two seconds out of this. <laughs> oh, Everyone my gosh. Right now is frantically Googling. Uh, I, I, yeah, uh, uh, you should, you should throw, throw a link to that in the, uh, in, in the chat room right there. Um, oh, good call. so yeah, that's, uh, there we go. That's, that's all the, that's all the incentive I would need. Just, <laughs> right. Just yeah. saying. And then that's going to be the, the incentive to, to, to do what, like how far, how far are you willing to go for Edward Snowden if, if Yvonne Strahovski is available? Is, uh... A lot further than I'd be willing to go if she wasn't involved. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, man. I, how, how is this show not on my radar? Um, <laughs> Okay, it, it it wasn't that long of a show. Um, they had one slow season in the middle. Uh, it was actually towards the end. But um, God damn, I love that show, man. I watch that show religiously. 
That it was at, at the time it was that show House and Two and a Half not Two and a Half Men um, uh, How I Met Your Mother and then Chuck ended and then Big Bang Theory started and then House ended and Game of Thrones started <laughs> <laughs> yeah like my my I've had a rotation of three shows for quite a while right right. <laughs> Oh man, that that's All crazy. Right. I think hey, she was in Dexter as well. Did you ever watch yes, Dexter? Yeah, she was in the last couple seasons of, of Dexter as Dexter's girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that's... not watched that. I'm waiting actually. So here's the thing about Dexter. It's eight seasons long, and most of them are really good from what I understand. So I am currently waiting to watch that so that I can watch it with my wife at some point point in the future. Yeah. Good stuff. I a lot she, of people have a problem with how seasons. it ended, but you know, I I don't know. I'm I'm fine with it. For the most part, I don't know. Was he killed by Daffy Duck while giving uh, Mickey Mouse a blowjob? Oh man, it was it was Porky Pig. First of all, oh, uh, <laughs> there no. were no there were no blowjobs. There was um, other stuff happening. Yeah? Well, you that, know what? There are blowjobs. There are blowjobs in bars. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, that that happens a lot. Um, probably a lot more than the public realizes, but you know, what's interesting. Hmm. There's, there's an entrepreneur in London that's actually trying to make that a business and not, and not in a bar, but in a cafe. See, all I got to say is there's all kinds of head out there. Right. So back to what we were saying at the beginning of this show, when you were supposedly giving your uh, beer review, um, supposedly, like I wasn't given a beer review of this, <laughs> this as of yet unnamed Alaskan microbrew Amber that I totally dig, but can't remember the name of, please. So, uh, speaking of this, this Amber that, that smells like candy and, uh, has a lot of head. Oh, gives a lot of head. What? What? Wait, wait, huh? Then that's just odd. Huh? So, <laughs> so apparently no, this is no kidding. This is, there's an entrepreneur in London trying to open a fellatio cafe where you can show up, buy your coffee, get a little head, all for 50 pounds. So I, I, <laughs> as I understand it, you can go anywhere in the world, you can find, you know, a McDonald's or whatever and get your dollar cup of coffee or one, sure. well, you know, Six pence coffee, or I don't even know how much six pence is. Is that like, <laughs> like, like English no, money sure. fucks me up every time? You got the pound, you got the quid, you got the pence, you like, and then you go to Canada and you got the loony, and but it's only the one. Like, there's a one dollar coin that's a loony, and then everything else is dollars. Like, I, like people just need to figure this shit out. Like, I'm, I, <laughs> and why do we still have pennies and nickels in the U.S.? I don't understand who the fuck is using that shit. Nothing accepts them anymore. Dude, anyway. My Mom, my mom grew up with a girl whose name was Penny Nichols. What? I'm not even kidding. Penny Ask Nichols. Your mom. Your mom probably knows her actually. Uh, <laughs> that just sounds painful. Sounds far more painful than it should be. All right. So, um, so you you can go anywhere in the world and buy some cheap coffee. This guy is what he's doing is he's actually selling the coffee for fifty pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. get a free blowjob. Sure. Yeah. I mean, well, that, that's a, how that's, he's got a team of lawyers trying to figure out how to make it legal. Th that's that's essentially how he's going about it right now, though. He's he's charging for this for this atmosphere and for this really probably pretty shitty coffee. I mean, oh, sure. I mean, <clears throat> would you care? Yeah. But, <laughs> but and, so this is my question, though. How how sexist is this? I mean, can a lady go in there and 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 get a really shitty cup of coffee and pay her fifty pounds and get some head? Well, the the article that I read about this, which um, I don't know how how credible it is because it was on Mashable, but uh, the the <laughs> are you saying Mashable is not a credible that, news that agency? <laughs> what was that? Are you saying Mashable is not a credible news agency? Hey, I'm not. I'm not saying that. Th those are your words. Shots fired. <laughs> No, but but apparently right now in the in the initial business plan, it is a uh, a men's 
uh, a men's place, I guess, a gentleman's uh, establishment. establishment. Sure, we'll call it that. Uh, but future expansion plans are to offer the same services to ladies. See, that's... Uh, hey, I'm, I'm going to go... One thing at a time. I'm going to go with a, a great line from George Carlin. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Selling's legal. Fucking's legal. Why isn't selling fucking legal? <laughs> right, right. I have no problem with this. Mostly no. because I'm happily married and my wife fulfills all the needs that I need met. Mm-hmm. However, yeah. oh. I have no problem with those who aren't getting their needs met by their significant others or who have a specific need for this going and doing it. Like, who cares? Yeah, I mean, you know, especially in today's day and age where unemployment is not uh, a non-issue. Um, <laughs> let's employ as many people as we can. I mean, I understand. Okay, I mean, I I could really argue either side of this. I I get the the sexism. I get the objectification of women aspect of this. Like, I I get all of that, and I I get the um, you know just taking advantage of 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 people. Uh, I I get that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, if this is something like, if you just like sucking dick, and you'd like to get paid for it. Why? Why should that be illegal? You know, down. I I understand completely. I, like I I don't under. I have never. Well, there's my alarm again. <laughs> I have never uh, really understood why it's such an issue. I mean, yeah. Well, it's the it's the world's oldest profession. And and, and I know there there are some some ethical and and moral things, but I don't think the government should be involved in morals. I think the government should be involved in. Anyway, we're get, they're getting political again now. Um, <laughs> so basically, I just don't I don't want the government telling me what I can do or can't do in my bedroom or in my business. So yeah, no, no, I I I do agree with some laws that are in place for this, just because of the um, you know pr- protection of people that are taken advantage of, and the whole human trafficking thing, of course, is right. wrong. Um, I I get all that, but I think that if if it was legalized and uh, regulated. Well, you know, well regulated with with um, you know support systems and all that kind of stuff, that a lot of that crap would go away. The human trafficking and the you know the the street pimps and all that kind of shit would just right. Fucking you you increase the availability, you decrease the demand. Right, and as no, you decrease absolutely. the demand, it becomes less and less profitable for people to to do illegal things to make to fill the demand. Exactly, it's like the the whole legalization of weed. Of course, you know you're going to get rid of the uh, the side alley punk ass drug dealer that's that's peddling pot you know anyway the the problem fixes itself for the most part when you legalize right. it for most things i think to to an extent well okay the the things <laughs> when, laws that are in place to to regulate your morality drug use uh sex laws things like that get rid of the laws things tend to fix itself Free market, baby. Free market. Mm. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> all that being said, now that we've uh, now that last week we killed everybody who's who likes to help the homeless, and this week we're killing everybody that's against uh, against you know uh, 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 profitable fornication. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That's cool. <laughs> profitable fornication. Oh man, if I had a nickel for every time. Uh, so, so this is something I was thinking about and I'm going to put this out there. There's a okay. lot of shit going on in diamond club right now. Like, oh, yeah. a, a, Always, like a lot Always. of shit going on in diamond club. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to get this, this diamond club B team going on. Some other people that are on time, you know, use that use the diamond club TV to stream their activities, either the streaming games or doing other podcasts or things like that. And of course the incredible Sergeant Muffin makes everything possible for us. Oh, yeah. Um, with help from like Tin Deck and T2T2 and several others that I can't even think of the names of because I'm about one liter of beer in on the evening. Um, <laughs> so this is what I want to do. And we, we've tried to include Diamond Club News. And we actually have a Diamond Club News segment this week that's, that's not necessarily like up to date, like holy shit, it just happened. But yeah. it's it's recent enough that we can now confirm it's actually going on and actually making things 
awesome. Uh, just just a little touch of awesome being brought to you by DiamondClub.tv. And um, I would love for anybody that has any kind of news, Diamond Club news at all, uh, if you have a show on Diamond Club or if you're going to start a show on DiamondClub.tv, um, if you have special guests on, if you have special activities, like Jury this week is in Indianapolis at Gen Con um, peddling uh, contender games as much as he possibly can. Um, things like that. Anything that's going on within Diamond Club, I would love to actually start an official channel, an official communication that somebody can just read and say, here it is. And of course, I would like to do that as a podcast, even if I'm not hosting it. I would love to see that just a uh, this week in Diamond Club, you know. Uh, oh yeah, T T W I D C, you know, uh, or Diamond Group, even However, whatever initials work for you for the purpose or whatever. If you got ideas about that, emails podcast at G uh, po <laughs> Ritual Misery. Uh, yeah, wow. Let's let's try that one again. Email us <laughs> podcast at ritualmisery.com. That's the one. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> that, that was rough. And uh Let's see it on our Reddit. <laughs> yeah, Reddit podcast.reddit.com or in the podcast. Uh, Jesus, I I'm stuck on the word podcast. Like, gosh, you yeah, you're like some kind of like uh um, like, I, I got robot I, this hashtag I got, still in beta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got I got podcasts podcast Tourette's. Um Ritualmisery.reddit.com or rit or uh, reddit.com slash r slash or slash r slash u. I don't know one of those two r slash ritual. Just misery. find us ritual misery on Reddit. Just fucking find it. Um, anything that you put on there, we'll put on the show. And I would love to be able to start getting enough news and things together of different guests. Um, of course, you know we got big shows on DiamondClub.tv, such as DTNS. They have you know like up to five guests a week. You know, depending on on which which. Uh, regular contributors can can be on and then things like this morning um uh dtns headlines had a special guest host uh reading the the headlines mr anthropology and that was pretty awesome and uh just things like that man i'd love to get more involved uh, i know this is a very loose group diamond club is a loosely associated group of several patches of very tight-knit friends you put loose and tight in the same sentence. Right, sentence. because it's loosely coordinated, <laughs> lo loosely associated. So tight Diamond Club groups. is loosely tight or tightly loose? Yo, it doesn't matter, man. We make it happen. <laughs> it's however we... Yeah, hey, what, what, whatever you want, man. You know, you, you want black pussy, you want white pussy, you want pink pussy, you want blue pussy. We got it. Just come on down. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Or Chief Marine, whoever yeah. I should attribute that to. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Uh, but no, so all of that to say that we have some Diamond Club news to to promote. Yeah. This week. If you like goofy-ass shows like this, or even some that are way better, um, cruise on over to... Hey, you know what? Um, if you've got a Roku kind of like an apple tv or a chromecast or an amazon fire stick if you've got a roku you need to download the roku app yeah sorry the roku the, the roku the, app uh, the diamond i'm gonna club. go buy a roku then download the roku app you need to download the diamond club app on your roku there you That's go what i was trying to say um anyway yeah so it's it's awesome there's a there's a whole channel that's that's streaming reruns of awesome diamond club shows including Ritual Misery Podcast, which is, like, super awesome. That's really, that that makes me ecstatic to see that we're on there now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there, there's so many shows on there. You need to check it out because I guarantee if you like this show, you're going to like at least half a dozen other shows that are oh, on yeah. Diamond Club. Oh, yeah, all the shows that, we're, uh, that we rip off and uh, are inspired by. Like exactly. All, all those shows are on Diamond Club. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Between the Diamond Club community and the Frog Pants community, that pretty much like 90% of what we are inspired by falls into one of those two categories or for, maybe even a crossover. Yeah, for, for the most part, yeah. There's, there's a huge Venn diagram between the two and it's amazing. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah. hey, man, um, speaking of people liking us and liking our show we did get a little feedback this week and i want to share that 
What? Yeah. You, you, so, mean, you mean there are people that actually listen to this shit? No, oh, isn't that crazy? <laughs> we, man, we used to joke for so long. So when we talk to our fans, we say, yes, both of you. We're yeah. talking to both of you. Uh, no, now we've, now we've got like con- a confirmed three. Like, <laughs> yeah, we've got at least three now. This is so cool. So so a couple weeks ago, Just Rob Young put out a little thing about appreciating their fans and not trying to go for so many more and everything else. And I think that was really wise. I. We do get interaction from our fans, from those of you that are that are tweeting us and uh, sending us private messages and and being on the show. Um, some more than others, of course. And I gotta say, just the fact that you're that maybe you're just insanely lonely, or you have a really <laughs> fucked up sense of humor. Either way, we really appreciate you tuning in. Okay. And uh, uh, you know, if you want to be, if you want to do the Patreon thing, fine. You should email us, Reddit. Tweet us, whatever. We just we'd love to hear from you guys, and um, I refuse to be involved in taking advantage of the the small but obviously growing listenership and viewership that we have for the show. It's pretty awesome. Um, no, it's, it's great, man. I, I I love hearing from people that that listen to or watch our show. Um, it's great. If you if you want to ask us questions, we're gonna answer them. If you want to actually record something and hear yourself on our show, we'll definitely do that too. Um, if you, if you want to yeah, come on the show and just fuck around really for a little short, while, let us know. Uh, email that I wanted to <laughs> to read out. All right. Um, so anyway, it says it says, "Hey guys, I live outside London and I just found your show. Love it. Keep up the good work, Nigel." Nigel. So thanks, Nigel. Uh, so 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 that. let me let me make sure I get this right. Um, so Nigel, who's at least in my experience in life, probably Australian, lives outside London. I'm assuming or, or, he or at London, least England, but I don't, I'm not. I can't confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> he could be in like London, Nebraska. Some Australian dude in London, Nebraska, is like, "Holy shit, this is the best thing ever!" Listen to this show. <laughs> Dude, Nigel, seriously, email us back. No, like, narrow that down. Is it London, England, or London somewhere else? We're gonna find yeah. out. He's like a South African or something like that. Completely, just not Australia. And I'll just maybe he maybe he's actually from Nebraska, and his parents were just you know wild, wild Thornberry fucking fans or some shit. You know, could be. Could be. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm such a so, I'm such a name classifier. What a, I'm a, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's all <laughs> no, you're not a racist you're a namist you are a namist <laughs> damn your namism all right <laughs> yeah no, th- thanks a lot nigel um emails back anytime man i'd i'd love to answer any questions that you have yeah especially about nebraska like we we have we have <laughs> we have questions about nebraska <laughs> yes email us back so that we can uh yeah anyway <laughs> oh man hey man what else you got this week what else you got I don't know, dude. I've all right. I've got I've got one more topic okay. that I want to cover. All right, and or actually, you know what? I'm going to save this. I'm I'm going to save the topic for next week because I would love to hear what our guest has to say about it. We've got a guest coming. Wait, next week. wait, 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 wait. Do you, Do you remember? Do you remember from like, damn man? It's probably been close to six months now when we had Cabo on. Do Cabo, you guys remember Cabo? Cabo at seventy nine. Yeah, yeah. Chris Cabano. Yeah, that yeah, guy. My buddy from Korea. Yeah. Yeah, man. He he was such an awesome guest. He was so much fun. I mean, the dude the dude is made for podcasts. <laughs> and he is gonna be on our show again next week. And I am so, so I'm, I'm, to it. I don't want to offend anybody by saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyway, because in all reality I don't care. Um <laughs> Cabo would make a great podcaster if he didn't have a such a life. Oh yeah, like Cop, man, like dude, like, seriously. Like if like, he ever slows down, yeah, if he ever slows down a little bit, he's gonna be a great podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, yes. Like, like stop being so popular, dude. Um, yeah, and um, the podcast you know, world. You're gonna you. get older. You're gonna be less active. You know, like just get that shit up now and just start podcasting. Because I want, I want to know if this time we can get him to do some, uh, some this bitch. Uh, Oh, he if he topics. doesn't do this bitch, then I'm going to be I'm going to be pretty upset. So, so that Cabo, that, that, it, never, that the whole to- conversation never made it to air uh because of because of different things that were going on, but yeah, that's Oh, 
Was that not broadcast out? <laughs> no, to the no, that, that was a uh, private conversation that uh, after the show. That if if you were hanging around after the show, you might have watched it. But if you weren't watching live, you definitely never got it. So, so uh, Cabo has a great bit that's that we call this bitch. So this and bitch <laughs> stories, yeah, like oh man, you won't believe. All right, so anyway, so, so this uh, bitch. The, so so Cabo was dating for a while. He's on the dating scene for a while. Um, I'm I'm not sure what it is now. I know when we talked to him before, his dating days had had at least temporarily ended. Um, yeah. and uh, you know, more power to him. But if if uh, I want, I'm I'm interested to see how that relationship has has gone as far as where it's at now, right, and right. Uh, if he's got any more stories to 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 add into the the prior to his the, to you know. Well, yeah, and well, and the thing is too, like his stories don't necessarily have to be about women that he's dated. It could be, you know, um, something that happened at the grocery store. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> this bitch. You know, like it's so good. And I'm, I'm, God. And Cabo, and, and, and by bitch we mean gender neutral. That's the uh, the capital B bitch. Like, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Like, like I'll say, like, uh, man, this dude. But no, Cabo will be talking about the same dude and be like, yeah, this bitch. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, absolutely, Cabo. Bring bring some this bitch stories. Those are required. If if we start the show, and you say you don't have any this bitch stories, then we're hanging up. Yeah, shows, shows over. Shows that, over. That that is a possibility. So, <laughs> all right, man. Uh, so Cobb is actually coming on next week, which is awesome because we actually know ahead of time that he's coming out this week. All right, coming. No, he's coming on this week, not coming out this week. That's his own business. He do that. He, he'll, 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 do that he'll, he'll he'll do that when he wants to. Um, right. Okay. We're not, we're not here to judge or force him to. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we can only encourage. Man, we were trying to get him to come to uh, to South by Southwest this year, and that never happened. It just didn't didn't come to fruition. Like yeah. I was trying hard. I like I I had a place for him to crash and everything else. Man, I was really hoping he'd make it out. Uh, I could only imagine. Um, the four of us, me, you, Junior, and Cabo, sitting around drinking beers in in Austin, and how insane, wicked that would be. Bad, bad and speaking of people happen, that sure. we need to get on the podcast, we need to get Junior on here because that dude's funny as hell. Um, <laughs> all right, so so that's it for this week. Uh, man, where can people find us, Kent? You do that shit this week. Oh damn, dude. Okay, so if people are interested in what what I have to say, just go over to Twitter They're at not. rm underscore del noche. <laughs> If you're a beer guy like me and you want to find out what I have to say about this wonderful New Mexico beer, um, sometime in the next few days, I'm going to be rating that on ratebeer.com. Look up username Del Noche. All right. Amos, where can we find you on the Twitter? At Ethan Kane. Right on. It's not and a typo. You can find the show at Ritual Misery. Yep. Uh, we would love it if you submitted some ideas like we were talking earlier go to our subreddit ritualmisery.reddit.com you can also <laughs> he email said, us he said, uh, he said you said you are a subreddit <laughs> did I? yeah like you threw like three words all together at the same time it was glorious you can, so, you can go to two. you are a subreddit <laughs> Submit ideas to our subreddit at ritualmisery.reddit.com. <laughs> look, look, is that two, better? <laughs> two weeks two weeks ago, you were too drunk to podcast. Today, it's me. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, uh, also, email us about any of these topics or anything that you would like to hear us talk about. Podcast at ritualmisery.com. If you want to hear yourself on our show, you can leave us a voicemail. Five six seven six nine TRMPC or for the uh, digit enabled people five six seven six nine eight seven six seven two. Of course, you can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website ritualmisery.com. Thanks so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Thank you for listening, Amos. For me and for you, it's been your. That's awesome. You let the music cut yourself off this time. <laughs> that takes talent, dude. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing, man. It's like part of my bit now. Like, it's, I have it's, to. It's, been, talk it's into like a, the music. 